Hello, my name is Dr. David Cathcart, and I'm from Heartland Regional Medical Center in St. Joseph, Missouri. This is, a, uh, this is not an easy answer or an easy uh, question to tackle because it really depends on where you are in, in life. Uh, in my case, uh, I was um, 20, uh, 23 years old before I even thought about going to medical school. That's a little late uh, for most people. Uh, you pretty much need to make that decision a little earlier on. It's just that uh, by the time you get done with all the schooling, which is, you know, uh, four years of college, four years of medical school, and then and for most uh, medical careers, you're looking at an additional four years. So, you know, a good 12 years from the, from the point that you decide to enter, this, enter in this area, uh, it's, uh, uh, you know, it's a long time. You can... Uh, uh, even choose uh, fields where where you only have to go to school for as little as nine months uh, for some of the technical degrees. For example, being a surgical technologist, uh, uh, sorry, uh, a surgical tech or a surgical assistant. If you chose the uh, clerical side, the the medical record side, you could do uh, an associate degree for again as little as nine months and no more than two years and uh, become certified in, in various areas that would uh, be not the patient care side of things, but in dealing with some of the uh, technical aspects of providing medical care. Uh, if you're interested in the management side, uh, then you're looking at at least four years of college and uh, two years uh, for a master's degree, uh, if not more. Uh, uh, so, it, you know, it, it, there are so many things that a person can choose uh, with respect to a career in medicine that encompanies, you know, the sky. The sky is the limit. So. Thanks for taking this time to explore medical careers with me. Again, I'm Dr. David Cathcart with Heartland Regional Medical Center in St. Joseph, Missouri.